friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing something that I haven't actually done before, I don't think, and that is clipboard mail. So I've seen this around, um, not as much recently, but in the past for sure, and I went to my local dollar store, which is Dollarama, and found this really cute clipboard that is gold glitter, and I thought, oh my goodness, this couldn't be more perfect. I thought this would be really fun to make some clipboard mail. Um, so that's what I'm doing here, and if you haven't seen clipboard mail before, basically you get a cute clipboard and embellish it and decorate it if you want to, but then you just layer up a bunch of items for whoever the recipient is, and they'll get a bunch of cute little gifts all layered up in your clipboard. I'm not sure who started this. I would love to give credit, but I'm not 100% sure who did start this, so I apologize for that. Um... But yeah, so I made this little envelope using some vellum that I got at Hobby Lobby a really long time ago, and somehow the envelope kind of turned out a little wonky, but I think it'll work anyway. Um, and I'm just going through my stash to see what will work. I have these little pockets that I think are from either Flourish or Willow Lane, I can't remember, but they're, I got them from Tuesday morning. And they're these cute little pockets and little pages and stuff, so I thought they would work well on this clipboard mail. So um, if I have my dates right, when you are seeing this video, well, when this video first comes out, it is the 18th of April, which means it is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh day of my um, spring blitz, which is the 30 days leading up to my YouTube anniversary. I do it every single year. It's a lot of fun. Um, just a fun way for me to celebrate. And um, I hope you guys enjoy these videos as well. Um, as you can see, I took one of the pages from the um, sticker book from Maggie Holmes that I hadn't used and included that in there. I put a tag in that envelope with, I felt it needed something more. So I put some like crinkle paper in there. Um, and because I have lots of pre-made embellishments, you probably would have already seen videos for. And I am going to glue that rosette down there at the bottom. I wasn't really sure how to decorate it, but um, because I didn't want to go too much because I really love the gold glitter and I wanted that kind of to shine and for all the gifts to kind of shine as well. But I thought it'd be cool to make a little pencil holder on the side. So that's what I'm doing out of some, some scrap paper. And I'm going to use a um, scoring tool thing to um, make it fold right, if that makes sense. So here's my scoreboard and I'm just gonna score it. I think it was like, I don't know, one and a quarter or no, one and one eighth or something. Put the pencil underneath and then score it where it would end and then the same amount on the other side. I know that makes zero sense, but uh, it's pretty easy to figure out if you're making one of these. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. So that will be a cute little pencil holder and then I'll include the little pencil for the recipient as well. Um, so yeah, this is definitely different to make, um, not the usual and, um, yeah, it was really fun just because the usual, you know, you're making a flip book or you're making a tag flip and you're decorating each individual page. And I guess here you are a little bit too, but not quite as much and you can't make it, um, quite as, um, dimensional because the clipboard can only hold so much and then it'll all kind of fly up. So you can only put so many gifts in this, but I went through my stash and I grabbed that little gold frame and I grabbed a little handmade tag and things like that. Really simple. Um, nothing too fancy, but, um, but yeah, I still think it turns out really cute in the end. I'm hot gluing that pencil holder down and making sure it's in the right spot and the pencil fits and it does. And I think it, is a perfect little touch because it definitely needed something along one of the sides at least. And then I'm using one of those um, vellum pieces that I forget which, I think it's in the Heritage collection. And I actually, in the end, afterwards, I put another piece on top, but you guys don't see that, but it's nothing special. Um, and yeah, so that's basically it for the decoration of the clipboard because I made, wanted to make it pretty simple. Um, it's kind of an odd shape, like that U shape. Um, 
because I didn't really want to decorate the back because you wouldn't be able to see that. So hopefully the recipient will be able to reuse this clipboard in some way or display it however they want or whatever they want to do with it. Um, and now I am just measuring out a bag here to um, put in another goodie for the recipient. And I always love to do a little background paper and now I'm picking out which tag would be best to or would look best with that bow background. Um, I do like to um, do that and I lost my train of thought. Oh yes, I like to use up the scraps in that way is what I was trying to say. Um, so I had to find a scrap that was big enough. Then I'm going to just take a few sequins, just some gold sequins and put that in there and close it up to make it a little more fun. And I'm going to find a spot for that. I put that little paint chip in. I thought that was really cute, fun touch, something different. Um, and if there's any pieces that are hanging down, I wanted to embellish those as well. So they looked a little more dressed up. Um, and I'm going to put a few stickers by the pencil holder thing. And I think this is coming together pretty well. It was actually a really quick project, quicker than I thought it would go. Um, I found a tassel that I'm going to tie on the side and that looks really cute. Um, just fun little things to add those little touches to complete the project. Um, yeah, like I said, this actually was really easy to put together. I had so much of it already in my stash. So like just random things that I could just add to it. Um, like these little puffy hearts, they were just from my stash and I thought they would be cute little random things to add to it. So I hope you are enjoying my 30 days of videos. Um, if I have this all correct tomorrow, you'll be seeing some all heart outgoing mail. Um, I've had to switch this video a lot. It was supposed to come out in February and then my February got all booked up with videos and then March, but March got booked up with videos. So now I have the time to put in some extra videos um, now that I'm doing this every single day. So um, hopefully you'll enjoy that and are enjoying this, um, all of these videos. Um, I'm putting my heart into it this, not this time. I put my heart in it every time, but I feel like there are a lot more uh, there's a lot more variety of videos and maybe different videos that you've seen from me. So I hope you're enjoying that and definitely doing some fun collaborations. But here it is. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.